Hey, what's up? It's Ticket Melt. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. And I wanted to do a brief update, breaking news, pretty crazy with regards to Samuel Olson. And thank you to Cynthia that sent me this particular article where the bio mother's attorney uh, spoke on her behalf. His name is Marco Gonzalez. So we're going to get into that. And then I also came across this article from KFDM when I was reading the comment section where they state that Jasper PD found a body in a motel and they believe that it belongs to Samuel. So let me breeze through this so I can put baby girl to bed. Um, but this is really interesting with regards to the story because uh, the father's girlfriend, Teresa, uh, stated that the mother showed up at the place with a police, somebody that was dressed as a police officer. So Marco spoke on behalf of Sarah Olson, which is the biological mother and discussed the child custody case and about her missing her son around 7 PM Tuesday, Samuel's father, Dalton Olson and his girlfriend, Teresa Balbo told investigators that the boy was last seen on Thursday in Southwest Houston. Babo said Samuel's mother and a man dressed as a police officer came to her apartment and took the child. Moreover, while the boy's father alleges the boy's mother took him, the Houston Police Department said when Sarah Olson was questioned, she told investigators that she does not know of his whereabouts either, meaning Samuel Olson, the six year old. Police said the last verifiable place Samuel was seen was at his elementary school on April 30th which we talked about that in the previous live stream. That's the last verifiable. The grandmother, Tanya, which we saw her do the press conference earlier today, and we talked about it during the live stream. She mentioned the last time I believe that she saw Samuel was May 2nd, like physically, um, which is really not too far from April 30th. And then Teresa Balbo, which is the father's girlfriend, reported Samuel missing on May 27th. I believe she reported it. I'm not sure if it was her or the father, but on May 27th, Samuel was reported missing. And that's where we get the story of the biological, allegedly the biological mother showing up with a person that's dressed as a police officer. Just a little quick mini timeline. And so they're denying that the attorney and Sarah. And it says here, a spokesperson for the Department of Family and Protective Services would not confirm who had custody of the boy, but acknowledge it is working with investigators. It says here in quotes, we don't have details to share because investigations are confidential by law, but child protective investigators are working alongside law enforcement to try and locate Samuel. Gonzalez said his client had primary custody. This is interesting. Gonzalez said his client had primary custody and was denied for many months from getting a child. He said Sarah hasn't had access to Samuel since the last time she saw him in January 2020, which is what the grandmother said today, Tanya. He stated that she is very emotional, stressed, and wants to know where her child is located. Gonzalez also said the story Balboa told investigators and the media was a lie and made up and confirmed she hasn't seen her child in nearly a year. The attorney said Sarah hasn't been able to get in touch with Dalton or the grandmother. So she hasn't had much communication with Samuel. Gonzalez said the father took Samuel and failed to return him. He said Samuel went two months without going to school before being taken to another school in Jersey Village. When Sarah and Dalton divorced, the custody agreement allegedly placed the child with the mother, which has not been modified since 2019, according to Gonzalez. He said Sarah would initially exchange the child through the paternal grandmother, Tonya Olson. Gonzalez said Sarah is completely devastated and feels like the system and court have let her down. He said his client has been in cooperation with investigators, but does not feel comfortable talking to the media. Gonzalez said Balboa's accusations implicating that she has something to do with her son's disappearance is false, saying that there are too many holes in that story. Now, let's get into this report where it's believed 
it's not confirmed, but the, the people there believe that this is Samuel. And by the way, as I'm recording this, there's another article by the Houston Chronicle, which states that the mother, Sarah, she's on her way to identify the body. How horrible is that, right? Jasper police are investigating the discovery of the body of a young child in the room of a local motel. Complete details are not available at this time. However, officers were apparently called to the Best Western Inn located in the 200 block of West Gibson Street shortly before six on Tuesday evening when it was reported that a body had been found. Even though it is not conclusive, Jasper Police Chief Gerald Hall said he and others believe the deceased to be a six-year-old boy who had been reported missing in the Houston area last week. Hall also said that a person had been detained. And I wonder who. And there's somebody, remember, with the live stream earlier, Teresa went missing yesterday. Depending on when you watch this video, she went missing yesterday. Grandmother's around. I believe the bio father's around. And now the bio mother's around with her attorney. If somebody's missing. So I'm wondering if that's the person. It says, however, he did not elaborate any further. Hall would not release further details, but said that the body of a child was found in a tote bag located in a room on the west side of the motel complex. Wow. Located, was found in a tote bag located in a room on the west side of the motel complex. He also said there were indications that the body had been there for some time. I wonder how long. The final little tidbit, and I'm sure there'll be more to come tomorrow or the day after. Uh, so the mother is driving to Jasper. It's, he said his client, the attorney said his client left for Jasper about 130 miles northeast. And that's the thing I was looking at because I, I pulled it up on the map. I don't know, Texas. I need to go sometime. But I saw about 100, depending on which way you go, two hours, two and a half hours, 140, 100 and something miles to get there. It's a long drive. I wonder what the connection is over there and why the, he was possibly found over there. You know, does the family know people there? Does Teresa know people there? And that's it for now. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate you. Hope you have a safe night. I'll be keeping you updated. I'll probably look into this again tomorrow. I'm sure the web sleuths are going to go crazy. And on the previous live stream, somebody asked me, who do I think did it? My thought is I have no idea. Now maybe, you know, mentally I can maybe lean towards a way possibly. Uh, but, you know, we're waiting to see. There's one person right now I believe currently missing. So, of course, eyes are going to be looking at that person and that story that they said. Um, but who knows, was this just one person involved? Was it more? We're going to have to wait and see and find out. Take care of yourselves. Please hit the like and subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. Peace.